and this is going to be a nasty match. There's no doubt about it, folks. Not a catch-as-catch-can classic with two big seven-foot, 300-pounders. They're going to pound and pound on each other. You know, I'm not even sure if Kane wants to win the championship. He might be way more focused on simply beating on his brother. What a shot. Ouch. A vicious elbow drop delivered with a ton of force. suplex a clothesline out of nowhere oh a stiff and I mean stiff shot there he used all his weight on that leg drop up the turnbuckle goes Undertaker look out And that punch lands hard. And he strikes with the knee. What a neck breaker. You know when Mr. McMahon made this tournament, he gave Kane and The Undertaker buys in the first round, hoping, I think, that they would destroy each other on the way to the championship. Yeah, Mr. McMahon laid awake many nights planning out this tournament, but so far, I don't think it's going exactly the way he wanted. Oh, mama! Oh, big elbow, that should do it! Bam! Undertaker may be thinking old school. He is the seven foot monster displaying tremendous. Oh, he's in trouble now. Undertaker's looking for some massive impact. There has been nothing scientific about this contest. Just two big bulls saying who's going to blink first. And you know what, Paul Barry? The Undertaker gets the win. There's my new pick, JR. That's your new WWE champion. Well, that could very well be. Either way, Undertaker will be facing The Rock in the semifinals of this tournament.